Because I'm Somali, but I'm not just a boy from Somalia, nor am I a pirate. I am Bantu, but I don't talk in cliques. I'm Somali Bantu, but that does not mean that I'm not an American. I am proud of who I am. When I first came to America, I was eight years old. I was new to America, and things in America were very different and difficult for me. My first day in school in Seattle, I was in the lunchroom eating breakfast. I heard a bell ringing. I didn't know what that bell was for, but I noticed that people were leaving, so I got up and threw away my food. But I didn't know that some kids were waiting for me on the other side of the door. When I got, when I went through those doors, a kid pushed me to the ground while the other two kids were kicking me and punching me. I didn't understand why, but now I know it was because I was a refugee, and they didn't want me in their school. After they were, they were done, I got up and wiped my tears. Dusted myself off and went to class late. The teacher didn't notice anything, or at least she didn't say anything. This bullying kept up for months. As I was getting bullied at times, I thought about my family, how we waited for this opportunity to come to the United States for years. I was afraid to go to an adult to tell him about the bullying because I thought it was going to ruin this great opportunity that others have died for us to have. To get sent back to Africa, so I kept it hidden. Until now, one day I was, I was in the tenth grade. It was me and my cousin. We were talking with a group of our friends, talking in English until a girl walked by. We wanted to make a joke, but we didn't want everyone else to hear what we were about to say. So we said, "Tas chinoleta." Me and my cousin started laughing, but suddenly everyone else, our American friends, were dead silent. We had blended blended in with them until then. A friend of mine, Alex, was sitting close to me, and he looked at me like I was an alien from outer space, and said, "What, dude? What was that?" He didn't know I was a refugee, that I was different. Should I be embarrassed because English is my fourth language? But knowing Somali, Swahili, Mai Mai, and Kizugua have kept me alive. You honored Malcolm X with a stamp, but the stamp you put on my passport is a promise you have broken. You shed tears for Muhammad Ali. Look at me, yet you deny me. I remain American, who wishes you only peace.